So we are at the vet today and we are going to be doing uh, some beginning tests to see if he has polymyositis and uh, I put a, a jacket over him because he's just shivering like crazy. I actually had to I call it the tuck and roll method. I had to like get into the back seat and then tuck my hands underneath of him and roll him out of the car with me in order to get him out of the car because he's he's just so uh, traumatized every time I bring him here. He's just highly, he's just a high anxiety dog. So um, I will try to see if we can get the vet to give us a brief description of what polymyositis is, some early signs to look for. Yeah, so we will be right back. What's up everybody, my name is Vanessa and you are watching all about Vishlas. If you've never been to my channel before, um, this channel is dedicated to Vishla ownership or prospective Vishla owners. If you are a prospective Vishla owner and you are debating whether or not this is the breed for you, I highly encourage you to check out my first video. It might provide some insight on the breed and help you make your decision whether or not um, this is the breed for you. If you are a new Vishla owner and you brought your fur baby home, number one, congratulations. Number two, you're in for a bumpy ride. Number three, it is a most enjoyable ride and you will be hooked for the rest of your life on this breed. And for those who are seasoned Vishla owners, thank you so much for the tips and the advice that you give me. Thank you for your interaction and your comments. Um, they help me to be a better Vishla owner and they definitely provide me with new video material and research. If you like the content that I'm creating, please give me a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It really, really does help my channel grow. And the previous video I mentioned that I was going to be um, explaining one of my goals and so I just wanted to briefly go over with every subscriber that supports my channel, every like that you give, all the videos, every video that you watch from beginning to end, it helps my channel grow. When you get your channels to grow and you reach monetization, it provides a source of income. One of the reasons why I started this channel was because I actually wanted to generate revenue in order to start a Vishla rescue here in New Mexico, which there are none of. I think it's important that every state has some type of Vishla rescue contact. And of course, um, networking from state to state, I definitely encourage. So with every subscriber, you're helping my channel grow. If you have any advice to me on to how to help my channel grow, whether it be I need better titles or I need better thumbnails, definitely please leave those in my comments. I need y'all's feedback. So the previous video, I talked about allergies, eye growths, and polymyositis. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So I told you guys that I was going to be bringing you along and including you step by step with my journey to see if Corbin has polymyositis. One of my um, subscribers informed me about this condition. I had no idea ab about this condition. So the more I read about it, the more my heart broke. Um, I feel that there's a definite need for me to talk about this. By no means am I an expert. I'm not a vet. I just want to help inform others uh, like I have been informed by my subscribers. So I, I want to get this condition out there for those who are who are new to Vishla ownership that might be seeing some of these symptoms. Uh, the earlier it can be diagnosed, the better. So let's jump into it. Polymyositis apparently is an inflammatory condition. What happens with the inflammation when it attacks the muscles is it leads to muscle weakness and the muscles will start to waste. If you have never seen a picture of a Vishla with polymyositis, uh, I encourage you to Google it. It's, it's a serious serious thing. Uh, I will not put a picture on here because it's just too heartbreaking and I and I can barely I can barely stand to even look at those pictures. Some of the signs associated with this condition, I'm going to read them here and I'm also going to provide this source in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check it out. Difficulty swallowing food and water, that is the symptom. This is called dis Dysphagia, dysphagia. I hope I'm I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If you see that the muscles are um, wasting around the the temples or or the the head, um, 
other signs that your, your, your dog might regurgitate its food, excessive drooling and saliva. I mean, I'm talking excessive. There are some videos on YouTube of owners that do have this condition with their Vichelis. So I will try to find some of those videos and I will try to put them in the description box. If they're having difficulty or pain when they open their jaws, that could, that's a symptom also. If you have blood work done, uh, they'll show highly elevated muscle enzymes, which is indicative of the tissue breakdown in the muscles. But if the disease has been allowed to progress, the, the levels may not be as high. So the sooner you notice these things, get your dog into the vet. So these are just some symptoms of polymyositis, and this is just a little bit of information. I'm, and by no means an expert, I'm not a vet, but one of my subscribers, again, told me about his unfortunate experience with uh, losing his dog to this condition. So I, I feel the need to make a video about it and to also share the result of Corbin's visit to the vet uh, last week. Uh, I need to have my glasses on because I'm gonna read to you the information that my my vet gave me about Corbin's test result. So they did take a bunch of blood work at the vet. The two tests that they were very interested in and they wanted to focus on the most, one was called an AST and the other one was called a CPK. Now I don't know what those stand for, but um, they told me that uh, when they got Corbin's blood work back, concerned at all, they took x-rays as well and they took two views of the thoracic, and I'm reading as I'm talking to you, so bear with me. They took two views of the thoracic and right lateral uh, radiograph of the pharyngeal region. It was normal, so thank God it was normal. They did not see any foreign objects identified. There were, I spent about, I wanna say almost $500 for these tests, but you know what? It's well worth it. Oh, so it's for peace of mind. So um, these tests are expensive, but these were the beginning stages that my vet felt necessary in order to dive into what could possibly be. So thank God that all of his blood work came back. Thank God his x-rays came back. And I hope that this is some information to give you to start with if you see any of the symptoms that I mentioned with your Vishlas. Thank you to my subscriber who brought this condition to my attention because I had no idea what it was. To quickly recap, poly polymyositis is an inflammatory type of condition that attacks the muscles and it causes the muscles to become uh, weakened. So it's a type of, I believe it's a type of immune, uh, autoimmune condition. Well, if you're noticing things in your puppy very early on and you're not sure of what it is, I don't care if it's a skin rash, I don't care if it's hair loss or whatever. If you see your dog struggling with something, it could be a sign um, that their immune system is not strong. So the littler they are, if you see these kinds of things, if you see these kinds of symptoms, take them into your vet, do not wait. I also encourage you, if you are new to Vishla ownership, or if you, even if you're a long-term owner and you have some advice that you can give to other, other people, join a Vishla Facebook group group. I recently did this and I have read so many different conditions that I didn't even know were a thing. So um, I have found the Facebook groups are highly, highly valuable. I definitely, I just, I can't encourage it enough. Join a Vishla face Facebook group. I mean, there's things from what kind of food should I be feeding my puppy to how do I get my puppy to stop doing this kind of behavior to my dog is experiencing these kinds of symptoms and we took them back to the vet and you know this is what the result was. I mean, it could save you a lot of stress and anxiety to know that you're not the only one that might be experiencing a specific behavior or a specific um, medical symptom. So definitely join a Vishla, Vishla group. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. I, I am just talking about topics that are being brought to my attention and I wanna share with you the results of my dog labs and his chest x-rays. So I'm going to provide a little bit more information at the end of this video. I'm gonna to try to uh, post a picture of the specific tests um, so that you guys can take a look at them if you wanna pause your screen and write them down. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. And please uh, bear with me. I, 
I'm trying to be as consistent as possible with these videos, but um, I am struggling with an illness myself, so sometimes unable to really do much. So I, I appreciate you bearing with me. I'm trying to be as consistent as possible. So again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. With each subscriber, I'm one subscriber closer to monetization, which puts me closer to my goal of um, starting up my own Vishla Rescue group here in New Mexico. So um, spread the word, share my videos, any tips that you have uh, to help my videos be better in content, to be better in quality, uh, please definitely leave them. I, I wanna make I wanna make good videos and um, good content for you guys. So until next time, thank you.